Welcome to the Grow Your Law Firm podcast, brought to you by Pilma. This podcast helps lead lawyers to more growth, profit, and freedom. Here is your legal marketing expert and host, Ken Hardison. Well, hello, everyone. This is Ken Hardison, and welcome to another episode of Grow Your Law Firm. And today, we had the pleasure of having two guests, not one, and, and we have with us Patrick Anderson and Gino Ramos. And I've known these gentlemen for probably 10 or 12 years, and I can tell you, you are really in for a treat today. These are some marketing geniuses. And I, I know this from firsthand in working with them on different projects over the years with Pilma and with another uh, group that we put together, a company called NAML, the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers, and just different apps and different uh, videos that they're doing for me and have done for me. Uh, these really are class acts and uh, their, their background is so varied, but they, they're just in everything, but they, they really got a, a very focused on videos. And uh, Patrick was actually doing uh, trailers for 20th Century Fox 20 years ago. Uh, and he is, uh, very savvy when it comes to the internet and, and internet marketing. And as we know, YouTube is the second largest search engine on the planet. And I've said all along that I really believe uh, that it's not going to get here, it's here. And if you're not jumping on the bandwagon, you're going to be missing out on a lot of cases and a lot of traffic over the next several years. Uh, I, I, I was predicting this uh, actually 10 years ago. But in the last two years, I've been really harping on it probably every other month. And, and now you're going to hear me talk about it every month um, because I really think that's where it's at. And, and Gino, uh, very background too, but he was one of the first guys to do these 300, 360 degree home virtual tour videos for houses, which I've always been amazed at. And he's also worked on movie sets for like, Texas Walker Ranger and Edward Scissorhands and the Bad New Bears. So you, you've got two professionals here that not only know a lot about videos, but they are really, really savvy, smart marketers. So welcome, gentlemen. And I'm going to ask each one of you, you know, I didn't do you justice because your resumes are so long. Uh, but tell, tell our listeners and viewers out there a little bit more about yourself, and then we'll get started. And we're going to talk about videos and marketing for your law firm today. Patrick? Yeah, yeah, Ken. So I've been an ad agency executive for many years. And uh, as you said, really focusing on video, uh, doing a lot of internet video technologies that we created uh, over the last 25 years. Agency of record for American Express for four years. And um, uh, then also uh, started new video agency. And uh, that's when we really got excited about doing videos for attorneys. And uh, that's about the time that Gino and I really started working together as well uh, with a project that he's going to tell you about NCS TV. So a lot of the things you're going to hear about today, uh, we developed back then about 12 years ago. And then, of course, uh, Ken, you know, as we've been working together and with our masterminds, we've been focusing on video and social media. And so uh, that's that just brings you full circle up to speed what we're doing today. So real excited to share stuff with your listeners. Yeah. And y'all got a new company called, called Monthly Vid? Monthly Vids. Yeah. Videos every month. Monthlyvids.com. Yeah. Monthlyvids.com. Yeah, monthlyvids cool. Uh, Gina? Yeah. Uh, well, I've been not only, you know, involved with the real estate doing the th virtual 360 tours and, you know, we've got to have the fortunate, uh, opportunity to work on the movie sets like with Texas Walker Ranger and Edward Scissorhands and things like that. But uh, my, some of my other passions is actually in IT technology. I've been doing IT uh, since I would say about 1985. Uh, and uh, pretty much to this day, I've worked with companies such as uh, JP Morgan Chase, uh, GT Superpages, Verizon. So I like to incorporate a lot of that skill set into what we're doing today with video. Uh, back in 2008, we started NCS TV, as Patrick mentioned. Uh, this was a this was a fun um, project to work on with the studios. We got to work with authors, uh, with AmericanAuthor.com. We got to work with a lot of local CEOs, and uh, we got to work with a lot of local businesses as well, um, creating their own TV shows and things like that. So, looking forward to this new project that we're working on with monthly vids. And 
you're going to enjoy hearing some of the, the neat things that we've got in store for you guys. You know, one thing in talking to you guys uh, in, in the last couple of weeks, y'all done some extensive research. You know, I like, I like the fact that y'all go back and I call it reverse engineering. Maybe you call it something else. I don't know. I'm not a techie. But, but you actually go back and look and see. I don't even know how to do it. But you guys know how to go back and look on, on the internet and social media and different things and see what the heck is actually working and then take that, you know, and replicate it. It'll actually make it better. So can you tell us, can, do you mind sharing? I don't expect you to give away the farm, but you mind sharing just a little tidbits of what you found in your research? Because I know y'all did extensive research. You went over it with me uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was just blown away because some of it, you wouldn't think would be it's not what you think would be working i guess it's something somebody so simple that it you, you just go duh what was i thinking you know <laughs> so anyway I want, if you could share some of it i don't expect you to share everything uh, number one we don't have time to share everything but number two i don't want you to give away all your secrets here today just just a little bit of them well yeah yeah i do want to get into it because uh i, I i've always said that success leaves clues and even though we might have a uh, feeling, a gut feeling, or, or some idea of what might work. Uh, I like to really dig down and, uh, you know, say, show me, show me what's really working. Uh, yeah. Show me your success. I want to see it. So we did this month-long research project, Ken, and uh, what we wanted to discover was the legal questions on Google that had the highest number of searches. Uh, so we started there, and, you know, if when you do a search query, you see those questions pop up. So we used our ad agency tools to do that. And then uh, we went to YouTube and, uh, you know, with a lot of these queries and we were searching for the law firm videos that had the highest number of views. So really concentrating on, on uh, videos that were getting like 50,000 to 4 million views and analyzing those and, and figuring out uh, why they were so popular. And then we analyzed Facebook posts and we were looking for uh, attorney uh, Facebook videos and posts with th literally thousands of likes and comments and shares. And then finally we reviewed 40 different legal practice areas and we categorized all the topics and titles of the videos and the headlines that mattered the most. And uh, what we discovered was most attorney videos get maybe 45 views and very few get over a thousand views. Uh, over and over and over as we looked at different attorneys. But let me share some, uh, some things that popped out as this. So attorney Justin Ziegler, uh, he had one video that got 115,000 views. And I'll tell you the, the title on YouTube, it was 10 great questions insurance adjusters don't want you to ask. And then uh, attorney Matt Powell, who as you know, is in our mastermind group, one of his videos got 340,000 views. And the title for that was Five Secrets Insurance Companies Don't Want You to Know About Personal Injury Claims. So a lot of these frequently asked questions types of videos actually can get a tremendous number of views if you promote them properly. And then uh, attorney George Sink, uh, I love George, brilliant guy, uh, but uh, one of his 10 second ads, just real short videos that he's uh, only been running since February got 3.3 million views, 3.3 million. And uh, the title of that was Back to Your Happy Place. So anybody who knows George, he's always about, you focus on getting well, we're gonna do everything else for you, get back to your happy place. And he runs that ad over and over and over, just blankets his entire market with it. And George uh, would not keep doing this if it wasn't getting him cases. Uh, so then you've got attorney Marilyn York. Now. Um, she's a uh, uh, family law attorney, so she's gotten 4 million views and 16,000 comments, and the title of her video was, What Representing Men in Divorce Taught Me About Fatherhood, so that got shared over and over and over. She kind of hit a nerve with that, and really, we wanted to share all the insights from that research with as many attorneys as possible so that they know what to say and uh, can really improve their communications with people. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it touches on something that we as marketers, and, and you guys know too, is, you know, if you can enter the conversation on the person's mind, hmm. you're going to get a lot, you're just going to get a lot more engagement. I mean, that's the deal. And I think that lawyers make the mistake 
that they uh they copy each other and they all they talk about is uh we care we fight you know uh and, and you know free consultation but that just is that everybody's doing it and it's just nobody stands out and if you listen to those titles that got the big views uh they were not your ordinary titles they were catchy they were they were people want to know secrets people want to find out things like that one about the fatherhood that was genius uh, i don't even think i could have come up with that one i mean that was genius i have come up with those other two uh, there, there's some of the deals i did 20 years ago but uh, that, but it shows you you know some things just keep working forever and ever so that, that's interesting and and it was interesting that you guys did it not just on pi and, and and domestic, but you did it on criminal and immigration, bankruptcy, everything, right? Yeah, and Social Security, workers' comp, uh, real estate law, all kinds of things. That's some valuable information, my friend. Well, yeah, and so what we're working on right now is putting it all together in what we call a video planner. So it uh, will share all this knowledge and research we got, but then also uh, it should be motivational for people and yeah. just help spark their ideas so they know what to talk yeah. about. Yeah, so if y'all stay tuned to the end, uh, they're going to give away this. They're going to tell you where to go to get this free uh, video planner. So if I was you, I would listen, not just because of that, but because of this. We're just getting started, and this is going to be some. This is going to be some stuff that'll knock your socks off. I'm telling you. So, so in looking at all this stuff, did you come up with any uh, general trends or, or commonalities that, like, what type of videos work best for certain types of things? Yeah, we, uh, we really did. And we identified there's uh, really five different types of videos that seem to work best for attorneys. So the, uh, the first one is direct targeted advertising videos. And uh, the second one is then strategic lead generation videos. And uh, those are where you have the snappy answers to snappy questions, your, your FAQs, if you will. Right. Um, and then um, attraction marketing videos so these are typically interviews kind of like you know you're interviewing us uh you know get somebody to interview you and when you do that well it's also going to be a good source for uh, teaching your referral people a story that they can repeat about you yeah uh, the the uh, of course then then there's the popular personal branding videos or your law firm welcome video and that includes your brand promise to the community and then uh, your client testimonial videos. Yeah, and everybody knows about, most lawyers just think about FAQs and the testimonials. Uh, but I remember when we were, were starting NAML, the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers, uh, you did some shots and videos. Uh, and, and the deal was, this is what's so funny about it. Sometimes you don't have to be on the camera. We shot videos and I, was, you did, I did voiceovers. Mm -hmm. and, and it worked pretty good, I thought. I mean, you know, and we just repurposed some information we had on our, one of our books. And uh, I thought it I thought it did well. I don't know. You know better than I do. I know we got a lot of members that are using that type of deal. Um, but anyway, I don't want to digress. Let's get back to each one. Can you tell us about each one? And you just kind of went over it, but, you know, kind of glassed over it. But did you, how... How, I don't know how much time we got, but if you can go a little deeper, uh, you know, and, uh, you yeah. know, because, you know, I've done a lot of videos over the years. I really believe in it. Uh, I've done infomercials. I've done TV commercials. I do Facebook live. I've done, you know, I've, I've done a lot of things over the years and I really, but I did not go about it like this. I didn't go at it with a, a knowledge base that you guys have which makes it save a lot of money. I think, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, I'm always experiment, but you guys are went in there and see what's work. Uh, so you don't waste a lot of time and money. And I think that's very, I hadn't seen anybody do that. You know, you guys are taking it from a data driven and that's what's happening now with marketing. I tell you, it's all data driven. It's a, uh, that's the big deal. That it really is everything. Everybody's looking at the data, the analytics, you know, it's, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think I got the case because of the video it doesn't work anymore. You really want to know what's driving traffic, what's driving engagement. So I'll shut up and, and you guys talk. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, well, was, uh, well at Patrick briefly mentioned uh, the five types of videos. So I'm going to 
go ahead and just kind of break them down real quick, just to give you a, a little bit more idea of how all this stuff works. Uh, first, uh, what you want to do is you want to create a direct targeted advertising videos uh, to be used to stay on top of mind within your market. And then we break these down into five steps. So next, what you'll want to do is you want to create your lead or what I like to call your FAQ videos, which Patrick uh, mentioned. We'll get into that a little bit further. Uh, it's like your secret ingredient and in what your clients really want you to know. But it's really what they want to know uh, at the end of the day. Now, creating your attraction marketing videos come next. Uh, these are designed to showcase you as the authority uh, with targeted news announcements. Uh, you'll also want to um, share these on your social media channels. And the, the fourth one, uh, that's creating your personal branding videos. Now, this introduces your company and your services while sharing your passion, your enthusiasm, your commitment to your client's community. And the fifth one, uh, the, the fifth one is to step you through. And what you'll want to do is you want to create your customer testimonial videos. Now, this is where your customers talk about you, establishing your credibility and how you brought justice uh, from their situation. If done correctly, this should be one of the strongest marketing pieces for years to come for you. This is where we like to sit down and get really laser focused with our clients. So it's pretty much a five-step process inviting people to learn more about you, your practice areas, and your services. It's pretty much guiding them through your decision marketing process, establishing and confirming your credibility, enhancing your profile, attracting new clients, and delivering um, the desire that you want your results from all the marketing process that you do through the five steps. I mean, it's an amazing stress-free process that our clients absolutely love and appreciate uh, when we sit down and uh, step through the process with them. Yeah. When you talk about testimonials, everybody just thinks about somebody getting there saying something good about you, but the way you do it and the way I, the way I like, and I like the way you do it. In fact, I like it so much that I hired you to do something for Pilma, uh, my, my powerful innovative legal marketing management association. And I can get anybody I wanted to in the world because I got contacts all over the world. And I wanted y'all to do it because case studies, I think that goes a little further. Can you tell us what the difference in a case study and just a regular testimony is? I think it's, I like case studies better, but it, it take a little bit longer to do. And, and I probably couldn't do it myself. That's why I hired you guys. But, but tell us about that. Yeah. So typically people start out with testimonials and it's like, uh, you know, say something nice about me. I like uh, Ken, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's a great attorney, uh, but that, that, that's so short-sighted. What you really want to be doing is thinking ahead of time about what you want to express to people, what impression that you want them to have about you before they even meet you. So either uh, that you care or that you answer the phones or that you're very aggressive or that, uh, you know, you're, you're investigator or your legal smarts. Uh, really came into play. So you're going to have uh, an opportunity to teach your referral people uh, who are given the testimonials, teach them what to say and, and actually ask leading questions so that they come up with the things. And then you, you uh, can uh, slice all these together, if you will. So that's a testimonial. Then they're looking at the camera and saying, uh, you know, what, what hopefully what you uh, coach them to say. Yeah, what a, and, difference, what a difference you actually made in their life and their family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but then the case study is, uh, well, for instance, what we're doing with you, Ken, is we're sending out a video crew to each of, uh, you know, the people's offices, and then they'll be explaining how their lives changed, their lifestyle, and then also how their business changed once they got started with Pilma and working with you and uh, actually implementing the things that you teach. And then uh, we're going to have the video team come over to your office and uh, you'll be talking about them and what it was like to work with them, et cetera. And we take all of that and we splice it together back and forth. So it stays uh, really interesting to the viewer. Yeah. So you were talking about the five different videos. So if I'm a lawyer, you know, I can't, I got so much of a budget or so much time, which ones should I start to, which, which, like, if you, can you prioritize them, which ones work the best or which ones you should start with and which ones you should end it with? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Great question. So I like to start with the ads and the FAQs. And the reason is you want to hone your message and then just get comfortable delivering information. And also, if you're just starting out, you can have people create videos for you. You don't need to speak at all. You don't need to be on camera. 
So these would be things like spokesperson videos and uh, done for you author videos that promote your legal guides. And so you can have somebody else do the voiceover, the spokesperson uh, people that we work with uh, sound like they're uh, news anchors, if you will. So that, that's a great place to start. But then you just hold up your iPhone, point it at your face, and you say, hi, my name is, and this is the kind of uh, law that I practice. Here's why we're good at it. I want you to call my office. And right there, you're into a 15, 30-second ad. So there's really not too much that you're saying. So I like people to punch those ads out first and then have that start working for you 24 seven. And then your FAQs, uh, most lawyers uh, already know what they say to new clients or when people first come in their office or call them on the phone. So you're just repeating those same things that should just pop right off your lips. So, when you're doing these video ads, do you want a strong call to action or be like you were, you know, I've seen some companies, some video companies, they do these, I call them glamour shots where they go in and just make it, it's a feel good deal. I mean, it's, uh, but they don't really have any, it's, they call them branding videos, but they really don't have a call to action. You know, and I've been, I'm old school. I've always been in the fact that if I'm going to spend money on marketing. I want to call to action. I want some direct response, but I could be wrong on that. You know, I'm, I'm not always right, but. Oh, no, you're absolutely you're absolutely right. Yeah. In fact, um, it's people want to be told what to do next. So if they're interested in you and you, you can just say that. So if this is interesting, here's what I want you to do next. I yeah. want you to call our office or I want you to text us. And uh, if you've got questions, be sure to give us a call, that type of thing. And then texting is also something that you might want to consider because uh, you can say, uh, just text us and we'll send you our legal guide that has even more answers to the questions and concerns that we know you have on your mind. I love so, that. I love that because you're making it easy. The easier you can make it, mm -hmm. the more likely they're going to do it, right? I mean, that's that's the big deal. And, and I, I love what you just said because that's what I've been teaching for years is people like to be told what to do. And if you can't answer that question, what do I do next at the end of your ad? I don't care how great it is. It, you wasted your money. I really think you have. Really yeah, totally. Uh, now there's four other things. One of them is get people to visit your website. Now, the reason you want to do that is you want to put in your retargeting pixels so that you've captured them and then you can, they can start seeing your ads pop up everywhere. So that's why that's really important. Can you, uh, and can you tell it because a lot of our, our uh, listeners might not know what retargeting pixels are. Uh, I mean, I do, but I'm sure a lot of them don't. Uh, okay, yeah, good point. So if you uh, go to a website, then uh, uh, Google and these other you know large uh, platforms on the internet will then be able to set up your ads so that you can have banner ads or video ads. Uh, you know, full screen ads on mobile pop up uh, as they go to different websites or as they do different things, sending email or whatever. So it's a way for you to then uh, cut down the budget on your ad expense because you're only sending those ads to people who visited your website. And yeah. you can even refine it further to where you send uh, different series of ads to people who've come to uh, you know, the practice area regarding criminal defense or DUIs, and then uh, a different set of retargeting ads that go to people for family law or for personal injury or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, when I first saw that, you know, what I see it the most is when I go on Amazon and I look at something, but I don't buy it, or I go on Facebook and I see an ad and I says shop now and I click it and I look at it, but I don't buy it. Then all of a sudden I'm being barraged on Facebook and on Google every time I get on there by their ads, you know? Mm -hmm. And the deal is, like you said, you don't pay for them unless they click on them. So it's a, it's a cheap economic way to do it. And you know, they got interest because they've already visited your website. So it's a really, I think it's smart marketing. It's cost effective marketing. Uh, so that, that is yeah. Good, yeah. good advice. Great advice. Absolutely. And the, yeah. And then on, on those, uh, you know, little banner ads and things, uh, they can be as simple as uh, your face, your smiling face, and some stars next to it of the, uh, you know, reviews that you've got, your five-star reviews or, or whatever. And the reason that works so well right now is because of Google's big push with these um, local service ads or what they call Google screened ads for attorneys. 
So that's what Google has now at the top of the searches is again, a picture of the attorney's face and their stars and reviews. So if you just keep putting that in front of them with an invite to click and learn more or get your legal guide or watch more educational videos, that's really all you need to do. So speaking of watching more of your videos, at the end of each of your videos, you should tell them that you have more. If this is interesting, then what I want you to do is click here, go to our YouTube channel and watch more. So that's another great, great. call to action. And then, uh, you know, I, I, I keep mentioning downloading your legal guide. I, I think this is one of the most important because then you capture their email. And in all of our um, email drip series that we do, we'll get like 30, 40% open rates every time as we send them, you know, another email and another email, even down the road. Some of our mastermind members have mapped out 52 weeks worth of emails. And then in several of their emails, they have links to other videos that they've done. So it all kind of comes full circle. And the other thing you can do, should do, is you say, if this is interesting to you, or if you have friends who are involved with some legal issues or challenges, uh, then please share this video with them. We'd love to help them as much as help you. Yeah, you want to you get that engagement. You know, you know, one of the best ads I ever did in my life was uh, a social security ad that I did. And what I did was, it was actually uh, on a landing page. I had a video of me and I had my book beside me. And I, my headline was uh, how to double your chances of winning your disability claim. And I had a minute, 27 second video, which I said, you know, we went through so many pitfalls and all this stuff. And I've created, you know, everybody's always asking me these questions. So I created a book to answer these questions. And all you gotta do is go mm -hmm. to the right, to, you know, I point over to the right, mm -hmm. I think it was to the left. I, can't, I think it was to the left and just give, you know, and, and we'll send it to you. You can download it instantly or we'll mail you a copy, you know, either way you want. We give them choices, you know, click here now if we get your copy or, or, or click here to have a, a hardbound copy sent to you, your uh, home address. And uh, man, I got so much leverage off of that. And of course you gotta do, you just don't stop there. You gotta do your follow-ups and all that. But the deal was, I just killed it. And it was just a minute 27 video, but the headline which is what I like what you guys did. You're seeing what headlines and the videos pull in the most traffic. And that's what I think is so interesting, you know, because everybody can talk a good game, but the, but the, the facts don't lie. I mean, the downloads don't lie. The likes don't lie. You know, the shares don't lie. I mean, that just tells the story, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. So uh, would uh, you want me to share some examples with you of video yeah. ads that work the best? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Once you do that, yeah, I think they would, uh, they would like that. Some good stuff. Okay, so uh, we categorized them. I, I kept seeing the same uh, kind of ad titles and ad content pop up over and over. So the very simplest one is call. It's a, a call us type of thing. So uh, the titles were call us even at three a.m. And then of course you have the name of your lawyer and your law firm, or um, your firm in your city, personal injury lawyer, free live chat. So just any kind of an invite to call you. And that's as simple as it gets and as strong as it needs to be. Uh, the next type of uh, topics uh, revolves around questions. So the, the video titles were, get your questions answered today. You know, uh, like um, uh, South Carolina personal injury attorneys or Ken Hardison trial attorney answers questions about your case. And then Hardison and Cochran uh, or insurance company issues, you know who to call, and then the name of your firm. So uh, that's it. The other thing is keywords are very interesting. So uh, I mentioned we started with a lot of the uh, Google queries and, and searches. So the keywords that ke kept coming up that became part of the topic and the title were action, injured, justice, fight. And uh, of course, uh, these were, you know, for some personal injury attorneys, but then uh, we started to notice keywords in the other practice areas as well. But just for uh, PI, it would be hurt in a car wreck, call our phone number if you've been injured, uh, we fight to get you every single dollar, or they got justice for my family, and then the name of the firm, injury lawyers in, in uh, your state. Uh, so those were interesting. Um, Ken, I think you did your uh, Hardison Cochran offers 100% client satisfaction guarantee. 
So yeah. any kind of a guarantee or a, a brand promise, those are good. And then offering help. Uh, so we can help you with your insurance claim and then name of the attorney and your firm. We're here for you. That's another good one. Uh, again, and you're always restating your firm and uh, your city or your state and then you know what it is that you do, whatever the practice area is. Uh, I mentioned the downloading the legal guides that also popped up several times. So, uh, and then use the word free. So um, free South Carolina auto accident book from Hardison and Cochran. That would be the, the type of uh, uh, title that you'd put on YouTube. And that those same titles work real well on LinkedIn as well. And then uh, you put those in your Facebook post, the whole thing. Uh, then uh, just quickly, other topics would be whatever awards that you've gotten. So super lawyers or, or any other types of awards, number of years you've been in business, community service that you are doing, any kind of outreach, charities that you're involved in. Those are all really, really good. Great. So is it hard for an attorney to make their own ads? Because that, that, that used to be my big deal. You know, but some people say you can just do them with your phone, and some people say no, you need a camera. Some people say no, you need to go to a studio. What's the what's the real answer? Well, yeah, the the real truth is this: um, things have changed because of the pandemic, and so if you turn on the six o'clock news, you're going to see uh, they're interviewing experts, and the experts are sitting there in some corner of some room in their house. They don't have great lighting. And so what's happening is people are used to that now and they're much more involved in the content than they are in the overproduction that you might need or, or might have thought that you needed before. Uh, but uh, but uh, really uh, just a thought on that. I've had literally millions of people coming to my search engine uh, back in the day and I did all these tests. And uh, what I discovered was people don't like to be sold. And if it looks like an ad, then they'll, kind of dispense with it. If it looks like it's real information or if you're it's just branding, then they absorb that pretty quickly. So um, sometimes all these overproduced ads just really don't perform as well. And the same thing is true with video. So uh, what I like to say is just hold up your phone, you know, say your name, what you do, and then you definitely want to start shooting your own FAQ videos. Because uh, to leave that to somebody else is not very smart. You want to come across as very genuine, very helpful, very caring. You know, if, uh, if your attitude is that we fight for you, then, you know, have a little edge to your conversation, you know, so they know that you're aggressive. Um, maybe use more aggressive words. If your attitude is more uh, we're caring and we care for you, then, then you talk more about your family and our family is, you know, helping yours. But um, the, the cool thing about starting with these ads and FAQs is that uh, they don't really take up much of your personal time as a lawyer. And you already know what you wanna say. So there's not a, a large amount of like scripting or pre-planning. And, uh, and, and like Ken said, you don't need to be on camera even. Uh, the reason that you don't need to be on camera is uh, I'll just boil it down to you. There's a psychology to it. So uh, there's a lot of C students in the world and C students primarily are auditory. So you can tell them and sell them and they'll listen to everything that you say. And then you've got the A students, but typically they're just looking at how they can dispense with something. You know, how quickly can they take this out of their heads so they don't have to pursue it or have it fill up their head. Um, and so if you have too much moving around on the screen, then they'll get all, you know, jagged on that. And then, uh, then they're not listening to you anymore. So you gotta be really careful about your backgrounds as well. You know, you just keep it plain, either just, uh, you know, a lot of law books or blur out the background. That's really easy to do. And um, another style is that you just put up what the topic is and nothing else. And you just have an audio track and then that topic with that promise of what you're going to do for them just sits there the entire time. So it takes people out of their visual mind and it puts them into their auditory mind where they're actually then going to listen, listen, listen to everything. And we've seen this over and over again. Many gurus talk about this as well. 
Uh, another strategy is you take the words that you're saying and you repeat the words on the screen. So on the screen, you have the same words that follow along and people will just nod their head and follow the bouncing ball. Just like you remember that from when you were a child, follow the bouncing ball and listen to every single thing. So the fact is you don't need to be on camera and then uh, you can have any graphics person add some photos, maybe some PowerPoint slides. It can be that simple. And the, uh, the other style that's starting to be kind of popular is um, uh, Jerry Ojinski does this real well. He calls it his walk around the neighborhood. Right. So Man. he'll just uh, have his iPhone hooked up to what they call vlogging equipment, you know, video blogging, what that is. So uh, he's, he's holding his camera out. And as he's walking around, he goes, well, welcome to my neighborhood. And today we're going to talk about. And so it kind of um, it pulls people into who you are. And for certain uh, attorneys, they're able to pull that off real well. But if you're not comfortable in front of the camera, then, you know, don't let that slow you down. So just start getting the content out, getting the words out, just recording the audio. And then you can go uh, have uh, somebody on Fiverr or whatever, just nail those down for you. Yeah. Yeah. You can easily jump on uh, Amazon too. Uh, Patrick mentioned vlogging and they have these vlogger kits that are pretty cool. It's, it's uh, like a mini tripod. They have a, a little metal rig, they call them, where you can put your phone inside the rig and you can attach a microphone. You can also attach a light to it and just walk around like, like Jerry does, you know, whether it's in a street or you have something interesting in the background. So for 250 bucks, you can pick, your up, pick yourself up a nice little rig and uh, you, you can get up and start running instantly. So Yeah, and they got these things down that are, I can't forget what they call them, but they're like stabilizers that you yeah. Put, yep. you, put your iPhone in. I bought two or three different ones. Some of them I'm really good. I can use it. And some of them I just so technology stupid that I can't. That they just don't work for me. You know, my best one is I got this little thing I paid $5 for. It's just a tripod. I paid $5 for it. And I just put my camera inside it. And then I bought this other mic, which I think is very important, for like 60 bucks that I stick into it. Um, and I just sit down in front of my my camera and just hit it and start talking, you know, and, and mm -hmm. yep. Patrick taught me how to do this about, you know, uh, he gave me little tips, you know, say somebody's name, like you're talking to somebody and at the end, you know, if you were interested, like you told me that, so, you, know, you know, if you find this interesting, go to film.org forward slash, you know, law firm profit calculator or whatever it is that you got, you know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and, or if I, or yeah. go to our resources, you know, and we got more interesting stuff. Uh, it works. I mean, we're getting really good views on those. We're getting good engagement in our in our hits that our website's going up just because we're doing that. And that that you know, so is it? Do you uh, think it's good for lawyers to try to make their own, or should they go hire people? You know, or some some lawyers are going to say, "Hey, my my time's too valuable." You know, I know I could do it, but hey, listen, I just want to hire somebody, do it right, because I don't know how to. You know, you can even do it, but then you got to know how to. Put it when you put it on YouTube, you've got to tag it right, put the right keywords. And if you don't do that right, then you kind of wasted your time too, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So here's what I would say as far as the, uh, the content and the strategy, that's where the lawyer wants to be involved. So, so getting your, your voice down, uh, getting your brand down, uh, understanding your audience, and then each different practice area, you're, you're going to be communicating with people a little different ways. So uh, make all those decisions up front, but then don't get too hung up with the equipment and the recording and all of that. So uh, your staff can help you with that. Okay, your staff can help you just set up the camera, a little bit of uh, basic lighting. And I think uh, Gino's got some good stuff to share when we get to uh, equipment and things, but the strategy is the most important, turn it on, get her done. It's more important to get them done and get them out there than it is to worry about the technical stuff. And then uh, you can find people on Fiverr, uh, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And so you've got a lot of great video editors and then people who understand all the different formats and things that you need. So strategy though, in my mind, is much more important, much, much, much more important. And uh, that's why uh, when I said we researched the 40 different practice areas, uh, we discovered that there's certain uh, practice areas that, that people need to research first. 
you know, they need to find out more information first. And of course, family law is, is a, a great example of that. So, uh, you know, do I get a divorce? Do I want to get a divorce? How's my life going to be, you know, turned upside down? What about child custody, the kids, you know, uh, am I going to be able to keep my house? All of that kind of comes into play. So they're looking for answers to those questions first before they even care about who the attorney is. Uh, and then they'll typically probably go talk to their friends as well. And their friends might share with them, you know, their attorney. And so they go see that and they watch some of that attorney's uh, educational videos. And then they can get to the point of making the decision. But with um, personal injury, uh, that's totally different. You know, there, nobody's researching ahead about, gosh, what's, what would I do if I'm ever in an accident? That just doesn't happen. And, uh, and then it may not even be the moment that they're in the accident, but that uh, but a little bit later when they decide that, hey, this insurance company is trying to rip me off and my friends are telling me I really need a lawyer, that's when they then have an immediate need. So uh, you're not as heavily focused on all the FAQs, but you definitely got to focus on being top of mind. So having that uh, top of mind presence and these uh, you know, ads that are out there all the time, that's what you would do for uh, personal injury kind of a practice area. So each, each one of these is different. Um, and like uh, Social Security, you know, once they uh, get that denial letter, then boom, they got an immediate need. So if you've kind of been in front of people and like on Facebook, you can choose the demographics. So you choose people who are of that age where they would be, uh, you know, looking at Social Security and things like that or disability. Uh, you, can, you can target certain large workplaces with uh, you know, if you've got, if you're doing large uh, workers comp cases uh, around manufacturing plants and things like that. But yeah, we looked at all these different things from motor vehicle accidents to dog bites, slip and fall. We analyzed criminal defense, family law, uh, bankruptcy, even mass torts, medical malpractice that Jerry does real well, nursing home abuse, all of those. And we started to see how all of these fall into different categories. But uh, but here I've got a little list. Let me uh, let me just share an idea of uh, top Google searches for car accident. Right? If you uh, would that be interesting? Cool. Okay. So uh, here they are. It's like how much um, do car accident lawyers charge? How much car accident compensation? Uh, car accident lawyer for hit and run. What to do after a car accident? Uh, will car accident affect my insurance rates? And what can I claim for, or what can I sue, or if, what if I can't work, or what if I can't pay the bills? So once you understand that those are the things that people are asking and searching for on Google, then you can flip over to YouTube and you start looking for the videos that have like 10 to 50,000 views. And uh, again, just staying on that idea of um, car accidents then, here's some of the YouTube titles that popped up in those you know, highly viewed areas. So here, here they are. Uh, the biggest mistakes people make after a car accident. My car is totaled and I owe more than it's worth. Can I sue an uninsured driver? Do you have to pay your deductible if you're not at fault? How much is a rear end auto accident worth? And do person, or how do personal injury attorneys and chiropractors work together? So that just gives you uh, kind of a, a little sketch and idea but these are the types of things that uh, we're putting into our video planner. And then we're sharing them uh, for several different practice areas, as we mentioned. Okay. So you had talked about, uh, oh, one other question. What should, should lawyers wear suits and ties or should they be comfortable? Or, I mean, is there any rule or is it, or is it pretty much depending on what type of video or does it matter? Okay. So I've got a, a definite, um, uh, sketchy. And uh, that is that I watch TV and uh, lawyers get too close to themselves and to their profession. But the public has no idea what uh, attorneys do other than what they see on TV. And when you turn on the, the channels and watching some entertainment, uh, lawyers are what? They're in suits and ties. And so my suggestion is uh, dress the part, look like what you're going to look like when you go to court look the same way that you look when people come into your office. 
All right. So definitely, if you look like a successful TV lawyer, you know, and uh, uh, same thing for women, you know, dress the same way, smart business type of attire. And uh, because uh, people want to know that you're successful because then they figure that you'll get them more money in personal injury or you'll be able to defend them better. You know, if you just look, look ragtag or you try to dress down for casual Friday, I don't believe that works as well. Yeah, it's just funny. You know, it's uh, my uncle, uh, he had like a fourth grade education and, and I was going to court one day and uh, or my partner was going to court and he, he used to drive his pickup truck when he was having trials and not his Cadillac. And uh, my uncle looked at me, he asked him why he always drove his pickup truck. He said, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to upset the jury thinking that, you know, I'm just a money hungry lawyer. He said, man, he said, why would I want a lawyer that's driving a beat up pickup truck? He said, I want a damn lawyer driving a nice car. I know he said, <laughs> right. <laughs> so that exactly. reminded me of that because, you know, uh, that's what people think, you know, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want a lawyer riding a bicycle. He said, I want one riding a Mercedes. I know he knows how to get the money, you yeah. know, or, or he's successful. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, so so you can come across as yourself and come across real genuine, but uh, the way you sh you dress, yeah, look the part and look professional, and that really comes across, I believe. So so Gino, you were talking about equipment. Is there anything? I mean, do you have anything specifically in mind, or you just go on Amazon look, or any advice to lawyers out there about equipment? Well, I think, I think first and foremost, you know, of course, the content is what's most important. But secondly, audio comes next. Absolutely. You have to have great audio in order to get your, your point across. Yeah. So that would be the first thing, even before you even think about spending money on a camera, would be spend money on an audio mic. Uh, a lot of the recommendations I'll give for desktop mics, a lot of people are, you know, working from their offices. So take a look at the Audio Technica, the uh, ATR2100X. It's a USB uh, XLR type of microphone. You can either plug it right into your computer or if you've got a, a mixer board, you can plug it into that. Uh, it, you're looking about maybe 80 bucks, 100 bucks for that. Excellent sound. The thing I like about the, uh, the Audio Technica is it cuts out a lot of the background noise. If you have some, you know, some noises in the background, what right. it'll do is I'll cut that out. And a lot of um, the uh, book authors that I work with, I'll have them record on that and it comes out, comes out really, really good. Uh, some people will ask about the uh, a camera, whether they should just use the desktop camera from your laptop um, or the regular Logitech that you can pick up. Um, some of the vloggers, a lot of these attorneys are starting to do the vlogging. I'll tell them to pick up the, uh, the Sony Z1. It's around $800. Nice little compact camera, has beautiful audio on it. It actually comes in a kit and it comes with a little mini microphone. That's a, that's a really good camera as well as far as a, a, a carry-on camera if you're gonna be out doing a lot of vlog, vlogging. As far as lighting goes, just go to Amazon or just pick up a regular ring light. Uh, those work great. Uh, I know when I was first starting out, I just went down to Home Depot for 15 bucks. I picked up one of those little clip-on lights with a 40 watt light bulb, plugged it in and that worked just as fine You know when I was in a quick jam. So. If, if I were to rec anything, recommend anything, I would just say get a good audio. Make sure your audio is spot on. Yeah. For the most part. I, I remember learning that years ago, and it just it's always seemed counterintuitive. If I'm doing videos, why would the bike be more important than the quality of the film? But, but it is. I still don't quite know why, but it is. Um, well, again, it goes back to that um, audio uh, listener. So you can tell them and sell them, but then if the audio is all staticky, it bothers them. Just yeah. like uh, too too many visuals bother uh, you know somebody who's a highly visual person, it distracts them. Right. So that's that's really the uh, the reason for it. Now, also, uh, I like these uh, headphone uh, with the uh, mics built in. So right. uh, you know, I just go down and I buy the most expensive one. They're not that much, uh, but uh, what I love about these is at the uh, the audio in my voice it translates real, uh, real quickly, and then I can hear back when I'm doing editing, you know, how well it sounds. So, um, so that's why I wear these a lot. But uh, I wouldn't suggest this for attorneys because when you're wearing the whole headgear, you kind of look a little geeked out and a little too techy, <laughs> right? But, uh, but when you're just recording the audio uh, for 
uh, an audio track or uh, when you're doing the just slides or pictures or some B-roll footage of, uh, you know, uh, uh, on top of your audio track, then these work out real well. So, you know, and we're running out of time, but so you get up, so you do these videos, how, how do you, how do you, how do you promote them? How do you get them to make it work for you? I mean, how do you get them to get your cases? I mean, doing them is one thing, but you gotta, you gotta leverage them, right? So yeah, totally. That? So um, you're going to hear all kinds of stuff from all kinds of people. And I, I just want to say this up front. Um, most people who are pitching services to attorneys, uh, you know, know that you've got money. So they're trying to jack you up on, on uh, you know, how much you spend. And then they're going to come up with this whole package of services and things that they tell you you have to do. Uh, but let me just boil it down for you real straight. OK, the short answer is put videos at the top of your practice area page and then just advertise the heck out of that page. Just buy ads on Google, send traffic, and then be sure you add your retargeting ads so that you can then continue to be top of mind. That would be my number one most important advice. And uh, if you think backwards to attorney George Sink with 3.3 million views of his ads, that's how he did it. Okay. Uh, so now you've got Google ads uh, and they're going to deliver a, a whole large number of targeted eyeballs and you can get down to certain demographics and a targeted audience and basically anyone who's doing your pay-per-click can set this up for you. So um, they can set up the, uh, the delivery and the retargeting and then uh, keep you top of mind after they see your pages, come to your website. Uh, then looking at YouTube. So YouTube's different. There's really four ways to get video views. So uh, one thing to keep in mind, it is being used like a search engine, just like Google is. So the keyword searches, and that's why I was talking about titles so much, and the keywords that you put in your titles, that's the number one way. People specifically search for information on YouTube. Second thing is, on the right-hand side of YouTube, you know, those, uh, those are discovery videos, I like to call them. So uh, people just kind of glance over there or what, what is it I'm going to look at next? And then the thumbnail, the, the little picture that you have there, that's going to be the most important thing that you can do. So uh, again, you can hire a graphic artist or somebody on Fiverr, but you want those things to pop. And, uh, to, and, and immediately people see, well, what's the value of watching that video? Uh, then after you're talking on your videos and you get to the end, so, so besides telling them what you want them to do next, like watch more of our videos, you can put up what's called cards at the end. So cards are little rectangular squares. And then uh, if you click on them, then that goes directly over to more of your videos. And then uh, that's good because uh, you want them to see more of yours, not get distracted looking at other people's ads. Wow. And then finally, you've got YouTube video ads. And uh, these can be set up the same way, right through your Google AdWords account. So again, your, your SEO guy or your pay-per-click guy usually know about these. And um, you know they usually don't charge that much either to put them up, but that's how you get the biggest bang for the buck. That's how you're gonna get your video ads and your FAQ videos actually seen quite a bit. And then uh, don't forget LinkedIn and the uh, beauty of LinkedIn videos is that this is where you'll be putting a different style of video. This is where you'll be putting your referral type videos or showcasing your expertise so that another attorney would look at it and go, oh man, th this is the firm I got to send some referrals to. Okay, so if somebody, you know, I might be doing wills or, or family law or divorces, but uh, you know, I'm gonna send, uh, you know, uh, you know, this person who came to me uh, over to somebody uh, at the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers because I saw Jason Melton's videos on LinkedIn, and I can tell that he handles motorcycle injury cases. Okay, so uh, the types of videos you put on LinkedIn and the strategy there is a little bit different, but that's how I you're going to get fact, those he got a, I know for a fact he got a big, large motorcycle case because of that from another lawyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, I if let me just uh, take a little bit of time 
and explode some myths about Facebook, okay? Because this really bothers me. Uh, people come and they start looking at Facebook and it seems like it's complicated because these experts and people wanting to sell you stuff make it seem uh, like it's complicated. Uh, but we, we did a whole expose on social media and Facebook videos and what it takes to do them and, and what you should say and how you should say it. And we did that based on our research first. So, um, uh, you, you, you know, and then, then we bought all these guru products and uh, looked through all of their advice. And, uh, you know, we hired several people. You remember, Ken, we hired people to do Facebook stuff for us. And uh, they know really well what they're doing, which is how to sell services to attorneys. But that's <laughs> not what attorneys need to know to get cases and get referrals. So here, I'm gonna boil it down to you. I'm gonna share an example with you. Uh, attorney Joshua Stein, he's a criminal defense and family lawyer. He's been running the same simple post since 2018. And all it is, is a picture of his face. He's got a suit and tie on. He has a little unshaven, uh, but his secret is that he, for his demographics, chooses people right near his office, maybe within a 20 mile circle of his office. And then for the other demographics, he chooses people who would gravitate towards him on a dating site. So, and I know this because of our ad agency tools that we use. So he is uh, choosing for his demographics, women between the ages of 30 and 45. And if you look at the uh, comments, uh, I'll, sh I'll share some with you, but the comments are 80% coming from women. And he's gotten 13,600 likes, 13,600 likes. Think about that for a minute. Uh, how many likes you get on, on your posts. Now he's got over 2,000 people, not just writing comments, but actually saying things like, is there a way I can text you? I really need help or advice on my paternity and child support. Or I need to know about an expungement. I got a class D felony drug charge. Would you be able to help file my divorce and how much? No children, no property, nothing to dispute. Uh, these are the things people are writing. So not just random comments. He's actually getting people talk to him about cases that uh, he can pursue. Okay, so, uh, and then on the shares, almost 3000 shares, the same post just boosting it simply. He doesn't even have to use Facebook ads manager. You don't have to make it complicated. You just have to get it done. And the same thing would work with just very simple videos. The same thing, your smiling face, looking professional, telling them what you do, what practice areas, and then inviting them to call you, text you, and then uh, you know, you know, get a hold of you. That's all you gotta do. It's real simple. Yeah. So we've ran out of time, my friends. Um, so two things, if attorneys want to know more or learn more, where, how can they get in contact with you guys? Yeah, so um, uh, monthlyvids.com. So su support at monthlyvids.com. That's uh, uh, you know easiest way to do it. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, for the first time ever, uh, Gino and I have sat down, we decided we're going to share all of our knowledge and strategies and insights. And uh, we began doing this with uh, members in our current mastermind. Uh, so we've uh, organized everything into a step by step course that you can just hand this to your staff so they know exactly what to do. You know exactly what to say, you know when you would hire somebody where you would go to hire somebody. And um, Really, uh, I, I, I wanna invite you to do that. And so to en encourage you to learn more and be able to at least get started and do some of these on your own, uh, you can go to monthlyvids.com. That's V-I-D-S, monthlyvids.com slash video planner. And that's where you'll be able to go you know, for free the video planner and several of the strategies and things that we're talking about today. Well, that or Thank you yeah. so much. That's yeah. very generous. Yeah. Or you Absolutely. could just call me at 206-395-5454. Just pick up the phone and call me. I love this and I love sharing with attorneys and I love helping them be successful. Ken, as you know that real well. So uh, oh, yeah. just give a shout. I'll, I'll take as much time as you need to, to 
help you out with your strategies. Absolutely. Well, listen, thank you so much. I wish we had more time, but it's we're, we're, we're almost at an hour now. And so we're going to have to cut it off. But uh, great information, guys. I, I appreciate it as always. You guys, like I said, you are, you are uh, walking encyclopedias when it comes to marketing and videos. So thank you. Until thank next you, time, this is Ken Hardison, dedicated to your success. You have been listening to the Grow Your Law Firm podcast, the podcast that leads lawyers to more growth, profit, and freedom. Go to growyourlawfirm.com to find more ways to market and manage your law firm. Please leave us a rating and review wherever you listen to your podcasts.